This project is the first holistic assessment of access to and description of UK public sector web archives, with a focus on developing community best practices to start working towards more just and equitable access to the UK's shared online heritage. The aim of the project was to explore web archive description and user access and assess current approaches through a critical and equity focused lens. The project comprises two outputs, the dissertation and a practitioner interview data set. Web archive managers and curators were interviewed on web archive description, access and how they engage with users. This is the first study to look at UK public sector web archives as a collective group. The interview findings were then coded using Atlas TI. This method ensured a systematic examination of the data collected through interviews, allowing for the identification of key themes and insights. For description, these were that there were multiple systems and versions of metadata, and there were challenges around archival hierarchies and metadata at different levels. Access was governed, governed by either non-print legal deposit regulations or the Public Record Acts, apart from one organisation, with the former imposing far more access limitations. Non-print legal deposit also affected how far libraries could meet user needs, with negative consequences on the impact and use of collections. Finally, there was a real difference in understanding user needs and defining use cases depending on resource and funding to do that research. There's also a focus on web accessibility across the board, driven by public sector guidelines, which brought about shared understanding and tangible actions in this area. Any similarities in our approach were due to standards, legislation, lack of resource, or the built-in functionality of archiving solutions, and not best practice or knowledge sharing. For access, the study found there were no best practice for access, but frameworks such as the DPC's rapid assessment model with a tiered model of good, better and best could be a good starting point, offering clarity to a core or basic service offering and acting as an advocacy tool to unlock that resource and funding and communicate benefits. For descriptive metadata, one existing best practice framework by OCLC could be a useful tool to framing more granular approaches with limited resource, but needs much more emphasis on communicating rights and access and the reasons for restrictions to users in a clear and concise way. Three key areas of inequity were then highlighted. Parity or equity of access for on-site users at legal deposit libraries, explaining access to users and defining the use for and purpose of different forms of access. There are a few examples of quick wins or existing good practice. Two examples of this are the good uptake and understanding of web accessibility guidelines and scope to use a similar approach for other areas and using the archive of tomorrow's model of community engagement. Through collaborative working, there's wide ranging benefits for organisations involved, their users and the wider community, especially for smaller, less resourced initiatives. This project's key strengths and benefits are its focus on equity, intersectionality and understanding communities, whereas technical conversations dominate this area of research. It's also the first sector wild holistic view based on web archive practitioners experience. And all the research data was open access, encouraging reuse. The study has been recognised through acceptance as a short paper at IPRESS 2024. A nomination for this award, the ARA Excellence Awards, as well as conference attendance, demonstrates my commitment to ensuring this work has a tangible impact in the community, encouraging community building and peer-to-peer -peer collaboration.